why the Boston Bruins can win the 2023 Stanley Cup. This is one of the easiest videos I can ever make, but I will say, I'll play devil's advocate and just say on the other side or off the bat. President's Trophy curse? Question mark. Like, the Boston Bruins truly have everything. So I talked about, like, the Lightning and, and certain teams that I just, we've seen have built so well. I mean, so for the Lightning, for example, I mean, the right side of their defense is weak. Not the case for Boston. <laughs> like, Boston is just so complete. It is crazy. On their, like, I could just go through their lineup and not even give reasoning. Just list the players in their lineup. Let's do it. <laughs> Off the top of my head, not having the lineup in front of me right now. So, like, if they run what we've seen in the past, like, Marshawn, Bergeron, DeBrusque, Pasternak, Krejci, Zaka, Coyle, Hull. I mean, listen to the guys I just listed. And then Tyler Bertuzzi joining Hull and Coyle in that third line. And then their fourth line, I mean, pick. Like, get your choices. No sec with uh, Felino or Greer or, I mean, Frederick could be in. I mean, Frederick will probably be in there. Like, they just have every aspect. They have their shit disturbers. They have their point producers. They have their playmakers, power play specialists, uh, four checkers. They have everything on this team. And then, I mean, the fact that Hampus Lindholm is being considered by some people on their Norris ballots, and then Charlie McAvoy exists. <laughs> McAvoy, Lindholm, Carlo, Grizzlick. Uh, like, who's going to be on that bottom pair? I mean, probably because, I mean, Forbert injured, so Clifton will be in there. And then Orloff might find himself on the bottom pair. I mean, the fact that Dimitri Orloff's potential on your bottom pair is, is just nuts. It's just straight out nuts. Orloff was such a big time playoff performer for Washington in their cup, and Orloff could be sheltered on third pair minutes. Orloff scored a couple goals since he's <laughs> since he's joined the boys in Boston. So, uh, yeah, you know what? I mean, Boston just got everything. The only thing I'll say is like we haven't really seen Allmark in the playoffs, and I, I think we've learned over the like over the past. It's like sure a goalie can be unreal in the season playoffs are a different beast so in terms of the Boston Bruins if Allmark is even 80% of what we saw this season and the Bruins are the Bruins and I mean it is a little bit not scary but it's like the Panthers have been hot for the most part like over the last six seven games uh, or even eight games they've only lost a couple games uh, one being a close one to Carolina that went right down to the wire and then they lost the game in overtime to Toronto. But outside of that, the Panthers have been winning like crazy uh, to make the playoffs. Matthew Kachuk is the king of shit disturbers. So obviously I just talked about shit disturbers on Boston. But I mean, if Boston does what I think they can do, I mean, if they, they beat Florida the way they should, the only thing that I'll, again, one more devil's advocate is like the momentum coming out of that Toronto-Tampa series, whoever wins, will probably be riding a high. But on the other side, they might also be beat up badly. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, but the Boston Bruins, I don't think this was a hard conversation to have. <laughs> they are truly the Stanley Cup contender in the Eastern Conference. And if they lose in any of those series, it's because either one, the team that they're facing just completely uh, overperformed and just went on a miracle thing, or uh, the Boston Bruins screwed themselves. Like, I just... They have everything, folks. They have everything. President's Trophy curse, maybe. Like, maybe. But to me, it's hard not to have the Boston Bruins at least in the Final Four. Just based on, like, they have everything. Uh, I think in, in their season series against Tampa, they went 3-1, and one, I think. I think Tampa maybe beat them once. If not, I mean, they, I, I think they beat Tampa two or three times. And then for Toronto, I think they beat Toronto a couple times. Like, they know how to win against all teams here. I mean, they've... They've even faced some... Like, people are saying Boston hasn't faced adversity. I think that's true to an extent at times, but, I mean, they faced injuries. Like, they faced guys having out, like, being out. Uh, Lindholm had to take the hall at the, at the start, and obviously they've had a couple injuries with, like, Taylor Hall and with, uh, like, I think Krejci was out for a little bit there. DeBrusque was out. Oh, yeah, DeBrusque was out for time. Uh, Marshawn didn't start the season on time. Like, they have guys that were injured. So, I mean, a little bit of adversity, but, yeah, I mean, I... They've, they've just been winning, right? They've just been winning, had a record-breaking season, and, uh, yeah, we'll see if they can uh, pull it off. So give me your thoughts on the Boston Bruins. Can they win the Stanley Cup? This could be a last-dance scenario, uh, and, I mean, if they don't win, we'll see if Bergeron Krejci come back. Uh, thank you so much. As I said, subscribe, like, comment, notification.